So today we will be printing uh, this pump hand drill created by Speedy777 on Thingiverse. Um, he says in the description it's originally made by Performance 3D and he just uh, uploaded the files so people can access it. It's a pretty popular model um, and it has quite a few makes so I'll print it out and uh, see if we can uh, get it to actually drill a hole. Seems to be only four pieces, so it should be pretty quick to print. So I had the main piece printed off here, as you can see it did not turn out quite right. We're supposed to have a nice even spiral as you can see here, where it just kind of gradually turns, um, but if we flip over to the other side, that is, that is a mess. That is not close to a spiral by any means. Um, so, not really sure what I can do to fix that. I'll try doing more infill and uh, maybe slow down the speed a bit see if that helps at all. Uh, maybe uh, more layers on the outside I think will help too. So let's try this again.
So with the second attempt, I uh, lowered the layer height so it was printing in smaller layers. I um, made the wall thickness a lot thicker, and then increased the infill. So this thing is almost solid, um, not quite the center of it. The very center is only 50% infill, but uh, I did a 2 mil wall thickness and on something this small that makes it uh, basically solid. And it turned out a lot better. This side is still pretty rough, um, but we do have the corkscrew look now at least. So I think this is salvageable. If I take a file to this, I think I can make it work. Six and a half hours later. All right, so now that I'm done sanding that bit, I need to uh, clear out this hole because I printed on a raft. There's supposed to be a hole in the bottom, um, so I just need to clear this out so I can get the hole and put the end cap on. So I have no idea how this is supposed to fit in. Uh, if you look at the size of that ball. Even if I enlarge the hole, it's basically like the entire size of the bottom of this thing. Uh, so I don't think that's going to work. Alright, so I have a tiny drill bit here, so let's uh, put that in there and uh, test this thing out. This nut just goes on the end there and screws on to keep the drill bit in place. Yeah, it's in there pretty well. Um, I don't think this end cap is going to fit. I don't know why that didn't turn out well, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, so let's uh, try this out. I don't think it's quite working. I mean, it's pretty soft wood, so I can just like make a hole in it, We're pressing it down. When we are spinning, No, oh, yeah, we're sort of getting a hole. This is not very comfortable to use. I'm assuming if you had the end cap on here, it'd be a lot nicer. But uh, oh yeah, it's totally working. Beautiful. Yeah, that's like a full three millimeter deep hole. That's that's super effective. So. I've got this silicone lubricant here. I'll try spraying that on the shaft and see if that can uh, increase the speed of this thing by any reasonable amount. Try and get uh, that all around the shaft. And then a little bit inside the uh, handle. And then just make sure it's on there nice and tight. My experience with this lubricant uh, is to uh, let it dry. It's a little bit more effective if you uh, let it dry. So let's get off most of the excess here. And then uh, we'll just uh, let that do its thing. And we'll come back to it and see if that has improved at all. Alright, so that seems to have improved the situation a little bit here. Um, it's a little bit looser, but it's still pretty tight. Alright, so uh, attempt number two here. Let's uh, try and uh, get uh, this thing to work. There we go. Just gotta finagle it a bit. You just kinda. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. This is 
totally working. Oh boy. Woo! We almost through yet? Yeah, we're making progress. Oh no, that almost came back. Whew. This is this is not easy. Uh so yeah, that's the uh 3D printed pump drill. Um I think I have one more idea for how to make this work better. Beautiful. Totally works. 